Hello there ladies and gentlemen, Thrill Six of All Ages, Costa Chal here, Doncaster born, Buds built for theme parks and welcome to a theme park newsroom update where today we're going to be talking about a record breaking, well not record breaking, but a breaking news development from Southport Pleasureland and plans for a brand new roller coaster. I'm so excited about this. Now I'm going to share all the details via an article which I've linked in the description down below for you to check for yourself but for now guys make sure you like the video if you've loved it comment down below your thoughts and opinions subscribe if you are new around here click the case bell see them missed another video check the description for social media links and the google forms link where you can submit your own ideas for the channel stay tuned at quarter to eight tonight for the live reaction to the announcement of fiesta texas new edition for 2022 trust me it's gonna be a good on you can send in your questions um any comments that you might have any predictions you might have it's all going down that stream and for now guys let's have a look at exactly what's going on in this update from southport pleasureland and the possibility of a brand new roller coaster so this has come from stand up for southport and i really recommend you go and read their uh, website because they have some wonderful new stories all about stand up for southport uh, and all about the Southport area. So, a thrilling new roller coaster offering spectacular views along the coast is the latest new attraction being earmarked for Southport Pleasureland. The stunning 35 metre high Thunderbolt ride will be built right alongside Marine Drive Coast Road, becoming a dominant new landmark that can be seen for miles by people living along the Lancashire coast and beyond. Earlier in the month, Supreme Attractions owner Norman Wallace, who owns Southport Pleasureland, submitted plans for another substantial landmark, the 35 metre high observation wheel. The latest project is to construct a new roller coaster, which will take up on bends and loops at speeds of up to 90 kilometres per hour. The site is alongside the Marine Drive Coast Road and is not located in a conservation area or adjacent to any protected buildings. The ride is designed to fit a long, narrow plot measuring 260 metres by 15 metres and has a maximum height of 35 metres. The height meaning that planning permission is required. The plans were drawn up by local firm RAL Architects and in their submission, they said the proposed plot is an underused area of Southport Pleasureland and will provide a significant new attraction for the amusement park. The location um, within the Pleasureland site will allow spectacular views out onto the beach to the west and to the east towards Pleasureland, the Marine Lake and Southport Town Centre. Pleasureland Amusement Park has been in existence since 1913 and has a long history and a wide variety of amusement park rides. Now the colours of the steel structure support to the ride will be white with the track orange to be confirmed. That's not official yet, that's to be uh, officially confirmed. The cars on the ride will be a variety of colours befitting an amusement park. The opening times will match those of the theme park. Uh, and the uh, it requires six new full-time employees providing ride operators and engineers uh, Pleasureland, Amusement, uh, Pleasureland Amusement Park has been contributing significantly to Southport's reputation and leisure offer since 1913 and brings more visitors to Southport than any other leisure offer. This new ride will enhance the offer and improve the reputation of Pleasureland, helping to draw further visitors to the town. It's located within the grounds of the amusement park and the principle of the attraction is therefore established. So this sounds like a very, very exciting project. Obviously, you can see on your screen at the moment the site in question. Um, and of course, it's that long, thin strip of land on unused plot of land, but in the theme park grounds. So I really can't wait to see what's going to happen with this. And I really, really can't wait to see the opening of a brand new roller coaster at Southport Pleasureland. There we are, ladies and gentlemen. Thrill six of all ages. That is the information from the article from Stand Up to Southport. Massive shout out to Stand Up to Southport for all the information that they've delivered in this article. Really in depth, really detailed. We know a lot of details from this ride now. And uh, yeah, we just need that final confirmation from the plans now. Uh, but this is going to be the Zamperla Thunderbolt. Many forums have reported this news now as well over the last hour uh, or so. Obviously, we know some details. It will be layout one or layout zero one. Uh, so, of course, with the Thunderbolt coaster from Zampella, there are three different layouts. Uh, layout one is the same as the originating coaster, the Thunderbolt at Luna Park at Coney Island, uh, as well as Rolling Thunder uh, over there in the States at the Park OR. 
Uh, so I think that, you know, and, and also there's another one in Asia. So there's three versions of the Layout 1. So this will be number four in the Layout 1 version of the Thunderbolt coaster. Now, obviously, I've not experienced rolling Thunder or Thunderbolt or the one in Asia. So I think Southport, I mean, if this is opening in 2022, I'm praying I get the money together, scrape the money together and get down to Southport for the, for the opening day weekend. Because... I want to experience this new coaster on opening day. If we're getting a new coaster in the in the UK next year, I, I can't wait to see if this is going to be it. Or whether this is going to be a 2023 edition, we don't know. We don't know the confirmed opening date of this yet. It depends when the plans get confirmed. If this gets confirmed, you know, they can start construction sort of the last few months of this year, like the two, last three, four months of this year. Maybe they could get it open for between March and May 2022. Um, so I'd like to see this open in 2022. I'd like to see this, you know, open to the public in 2022. Whether they do a media day or not, it all relies on COVID-19 restrictions. It all relies on, you know, whether they're going to be still in place or whether there's going to be some restrictions still in place or COVID still in the air around that time in 2022. Uh, but, I mean, I mean, the media day will probably all depend on that. But um, I, I think that hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll get this pass. We'll get this opening 2022. Uh, Southport Punchline can open this brand new roller coaster. And it'll be a significant step into Southport Punchline's uh, future investments. I've wanted to see a new coaster at Punchline for years. You guys remember a couple of years back, there was the rumours of Nightmare at Camelot being at Southport Punchline because it was, you know, rumoured to have been stored away near there. So, you know, there was the rumours about Nightmare from Camelot, which is the Schwarzkopf uh, family thrill coaster, um, which was going to be opened at Southport Punchline, but it seems like that wasn't happening now. So, I like that this San Pelo Thunderbolt is set to be coming into Southport Pleasureland, hopefully for 2022, maybe 2023 at the maximum. Uh, but we'll see what happens on that. We'll bring you more developments on this story as it breaks. Like I said, shout out to Stand Up for Southport uh, for the article with all the information on. They do a wonderful job on their website. Go and check out the website. Links in the description down below for that. But for now, guys, that is going to be it. My name is Coach Chal. Keep living the coast life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a Southport-tastic day.